Hey everybody, Jay Reno here. Thanks for joining me today. We're continuing Doom Eternal. It's my second playthrough of the game. And we're heading to mission three. And this mission is like tricks and traps, which is a Doom 2 map. There's just a lot of environmental hazards on this map in particular. Like I mentioned in the last two videos, the environments are just a lot more arcadey. And in this one in particular, you're going to see... With the Celestial Locator now in your possession, you are able to pinpoint the locations of the remaining Hell Priests. Dayag Renek, leader of the UAC division responsible for Earth's invasion, has been located at the remote cultist Arctic base. Infiltrate the encampment and neutralize Renek. Okay, we have challenges now. Uh, okay. That's fine. We'll definitely be destroying an Arachnotron turret. I'm positive. Ignite four demons with a single blast of Flame Belch. Okay, call to space. Check it out. Let's get to it. Yes, I'm aware of mission challenges. I guess here we go. Down here. I'm just... Oh, I, and I hate to do it so frequently, but I'm just going to keep looking. At the auto map, because again, I want to make sure that I'm getting everything that I can. So there's going to be stuff all over the place. There's a secret up there on the head of a titan or big cyber demon. I don't know. And you can go so far with the double jump, double jump dash. Uh, we want to get over to the to this. There we go. Probably could have just gone up to the top. Think we can make that? Mm, nope. <laughs> the answer was no. And the platforming can be a little weird. It always is from a first-person perspective, but it's all right. Where I was saying there are environmental hazards. Oh, well. <laughs> that's how you're supposed to get it. Uh, that's where we're going to use Flame Belch. Thanks, dummies. Appreciate it. I've already lost the armor that I picked up. So Heat Blast actually blows off some of the weak points. That's interesting. Okay, there's something down there. It looks like there's a way to get underneath. So let's do that first. Oh, it's the it's the dope fish from uh, from Commander Keen. It's an infamous en enemy from a uh, really old id software game. Anybody who's played is it Commander Keen four that the dope fish is in? But it's uh, again, if you've played it, you you know of the dope fish. It's, uh, it's just a bullshit enemy that'll kill you real real quick and easy. I think there was something back there. There was. This is why we check. What did that open? This. Uh, Sentinel battery up there. I have to go down and around. Hey, once you get launched up into the air, I'm not really sure what I'm looking for or what I'm looking at. Take me up. Excellent. 
Once we get enough Praetor tokens, we'll be able to highlight where all these are before we get them, so it'll be a lot easier to know where we should explicitly be looking for secrets. Fancy. See a one-up over there. Okay, so these zombies are a lot worse. They have a lot more HP. Okay, so let me just double check. Yeah, we'll get us. Well, I'm sure we'll get the Sentinel Crystal. It's the Arachnatron turret I want to keep in mind. Need the Cultist Key. So those are those flash when you're on top of them because you can do this. Again, goofy and arcadey, but uh, it's 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 entertaining. I like it. Now right, let's get in here. We got a fully charged heat blast. Welcome, Slayer. Is my time at an end? Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed citadel. I think we'll be okay. See, yeah, again, these guys, they, they have ranged weaponry and they can just take a much larger beating. I wasn't sure if one spawned on the other side too, so I just decided to, to make a run for this guy. Straight, just straight at him. Has arrived. All mortal challenged personnel, please be advised. <laughs> the mortally challenged joke, I think, gets overused a little too much. But I, I think the whole point is is the absurdity of it. You know, it's the point. I think the. Uh, I would like to... You know what? Just forget it. Okay, so now we have Mancubus coming out. Hello? So this is again with the... Precision scope is good for... I feel like I struggle with Mancubus a lot in terms I don't know, it's just like the amount of health they have or what, but I just I just really struggle with them sometimes. Oh my ammo. Didn't mean to do that. But a big part of it is like I just don't have the DPS. Once you get the rocket launcher again, it becomes a lot easier. Rocket Launcher is really strong in this game, but it, you also do a lot more self-damage. This guy's... he's dancing. He's dancing for us. But if you shoot the launchers off of his arms, he can still hit you, but it, it just does way less damage. Way, way, way less damage. Okay, so there's an extra life in there. I'm sure we'll figure out how to get that. That looks like it from here. This has to be accessible from outside. It must be. Alright, I'm gonna start hoarding these things just because I want to... I'm gonna... basically get them... I want to get, like, the more expensive upgrades. So obviously they're really good. Still destroying Arachnotron's pretty much the same way. It's just solid. These guys are the best guys to chainsaw because they can do decent damage to you if you're not if you're not careful. It's just like random hanging bombs. I don't, you know, it's just weird. 
Kind of level that up too. The masteries are good in this game, but the only one that I feel like is necessary is the super shotgun. All the other masteries are fine. Like, they're helpful, but they're not really stuff that you did, you know, design a strategy around. Okay, so there's still that... That thing back there. What is this? Oh, this, I think, leads to the... To the one-up. Thirteen, man. I don't... <laughs> Who knew your boy was really gonna make it happen here? A death, a death will be, I promise you, a death will be incoming. This is cool, with like a energy rail line. Again, it's an interesting blend of like fantastical environments, but also extremely interesting ones too. I think you have to... Oh, it, it opens when you jump up to it. All right, fine. No, wait, don't go, come back. All right, so there's the cultist key. And I think... I think there's a way to get, like, further up above this? Or maybe that's a different area of the base. I don't I don't remember, to be honest. Come closer. Stop hitting that guy. Please, sir. I'd like to... I'd like to utilize these traps. Or not. <laughs> he ran right through him. Okay, we got rid of that. Oh, there's our, there's our extra life because I got my, my keys mixed up. Man, as I was gonna say, this Hell Knight is ab just absolutely killing it with dodging the, the sides. I also wanted some style points, and I should have just tried to kill him in the first place. We would have been fine. Are there more enemies? It sounded like I heard like a... Eh, okay. I think, I think there's some stuff you can get down here, too. Sort of unclear what's happening here. Nope. Nope. Let me out. Just weird, you know? Weird stuff. Okay, let us continue. There's ways to get over there. Again, it looks like it might be connected to another area, so I suppose let's... Let's just go and see if we can... I always figure, like, push forward and see if you can find a way to get to where you're trying to get to go. Energy shields can be blown up. That's nice. I think we can get back up here if we need, so let's just clear this out and then see if we can get that Praetor token via a, a path that's in this general area instead. Uh, obviously, we have to jump down there, but let's look around a little bit and see... Dope fishes on this level. Okay. Again, we gotta figure out. I think, yeah, we just have to go through here and it'll connect down to that Praetor token. So let's just continue going forward and then we'll figure it out. I think. Yeah, we have to get that door open. Not that one. We have to get this one open, and it'll uh, illuminate the path. All 
Okay, that was the thing up from where the dope fish was. I just always assume... Whoa, okay, that was nowhere near what we needed to do. <laughs> that was not the direction we needed to go. And to think that I could have made that jump. Oh no, I have to use the jump. I always assume that the gates only open for a very limited window, which is why I wait to shoot them until I get pretty far into... Pretty, pretty close to where I want to go. Is that the... Yeah, okay, great. I'm going to hold on to my weapon points because I'm going to level this up. Let's just get rid of the Macubus guns because I hate them. Please. Oh dear. Okay. Several thank you bye. Heat blast actually works wonders against these things. Wow. Extra life. Pretty tough encounter here. You need a pretty high level. Is that a chainsaw? You need, you need your heat blast up pretty high in order to actually shoot off the, the guns. It's harder to do with the with the shotgun. Well, one extra life lost on that encounter I think isn't too bad. I mean, I got the rocket launcher and I didn't use it at all. I just have a habit. I mean, I, I really like the lock-on burst. I like the remote detonation in 2016, but I actually ended up really enjoying the lock-on burst in this game instead. I think we have to go all the way around and then we'll get to that sentinel token later. That's a rune. Which is good, because then I can get the, the the chrono shot thing. If I remember, I think you have to punch this. It raises the monkey bar. You want to land and recharge your boost. Grab it. Okay, cool. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you you get iframes when you're performing glory kills, so I don't see a reason to do them any faster. This one is pretty good, I think. Um, I also like air movement speed. I mean, these are all good, don't get me wrong. So if I have one death blow, I'll probably take this one last. Uh, I'm going to take the chrono strike. Just having that slow down in time. Again, it's really good for my, my old person reflexes. Or like if you want to use the preci precision strike to shoot off revenant rockets or anything like that. Right. Did I leave anything behind back here? I don't think so. This all looks pretty well. I hate... I hate these things. <laughs> I hate them. So we're gonna go right for them like I just did. Goddamn right I'm going to use the rocket launcher. They are genuinely the worst. You also you take a lot more self damage from the rocket launcher, so you have to be very careful. Alright, so two, uh, 
two rockets to kill Slither Lords isn't too bad. Lock on burst also, but obviously that's one one extra rocket than you might necessarily need. Alright, uh, like I said, I'm gonna grab Lock on Burst. Big fan of this one. Great for Mancubus. Anything that has a lot of HP that you need to take out quickly. Just sort of clear the battlefield of a powerful enemy. Lock on Burst will do it. And plus, you can slow down time in midair. If necessary. Look at these dummies. Have we finished all the challenges? We just have to find the Sentinel Crystal. Alright, so this is what we're looking for. We can get into it from seemingly up top. Okay, let's just keep looking around. I'm sure we'll find it. Maybe. <laughs> Gate is open. Did that open that gate? No. So, again, we're looking for... This, because that would allow us to drop in, it looks like. So I'm imagining there's a wall that we can punch. Or the... Yep, there it is. Okay, so I only have two weapon upgrade points, but I can upgrade my suit a little bit. I have four. Uh, all these ice bomb ones are excellent. I definitely want to get rad suit protection soon. All the environment ones are good. I could also grab exploration just to make my life a little bit easier. Let's go faster weapon switch and mod swap, and then... We can get Exploration and then the Rad Suit taking less damage. Because you want to have this before you start needing to use the Rad Suit. Believe me. Believe me. Alright, Hot Swapper. So we've been using some extra lives here, but that's what they're for. It's better than reloading a checkpoint. The beast draws near to me, my brothers and sisters, but he is weak. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly saved. See, that's why... We use the triple. I did not mean to use that. That was wasteful, but it's alright. The heat blast, I mean. And similar to... Didn't want to do that. Similar to the, the Slayer Gates, just run in circles if you're not really sure who you should be focusing on. You can buy yourself a lot of time. Ooh, or we can fall. That's fine, too. Alright, well, I had just collected the armor, but that's fine. Blood punch, finishing him up. Oh, come on! That should get him. Not get him, but you know what I mean. Please. Nothing like watching a Hell Knight just slow motion barreling towards you. There we go.
Oh, look at that shield bear just blast off as people needed him. Oh, come on. I deserve that, actually. I... This is like a sweet spot in the game where you really just don't have a lot of resources. But you start seeing much higher tier enemies showing up. So ammo capacity really starts getting you around here. But again, we, we stockpile these extra lives for a reason. Okay, that might be a good spot to stop. Based on the number of collect collectibles we have, it seems like we're just a little under... halfway. Maybe let's just move into the next building and see what it's all about. And I seemingly have collected everything. Up until now, at least. Nope, nope! Okay, Sentinel Battery is great. I guess, oh, I guess I'm trying to get the, um, the one up here. That's good. Replenish one of the two that we lost on that single encounter. Your salvation lies in his destruction. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the resolve to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. So I think these are just the undead, uh... I think these are just the undead cultists. That were the UAC employees. So killing them all, I guess, unlocks a megasphere? Sure. There's bound to be secrets in here somewhere. Let's just look around the edges. Not, not really revealing anything. Eh, maybe not. Okay, well, I'm going to stop here right before Big Creepy Elevator. And when we come back, we'll finish the rest of Cultus Base. Or maybe we'll split it into three parts. We're only two out of ten in terms of combat. But, of course, there's the Slayer Gate. And then there's two secret encounters. We haven't, found a, we haven't even found one yet. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.